fluke milanese. Now, fluke is a local fish. You could make this dish with any fish that is fresh at your grocery store, especially filet style fish. But fluke, halibut, salmon, sea bass would work great in this preparation. So I'm gonna season the fluke here just with a little bit of salt and pepper. We're gonna do both sides, and that's kinda gonna get us started off. And you can see um, fluke is a, a relatively thin fish. Um, it's flaky, relatively mild in flavor. It's just one of my favorite fish. Did you dry the fish before you were working with it? So yes, after we filleted it, we just tamped it with some uh, dry towels to make sure it wasn't wet. That ensures that everything adheres properly to it. All right, so this is seasoned. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my dredge for this. So we're doing standard breading here. Flour, egg, and breadcrumb. So it's an easy way to remember the order. People are always like, what's the order? February, F-E-B, flour, eggs, breadcrumb. February 13th, Olivia's birthday, got it. That's how you remember it, yes. Everybody remember Liv's birthday. <laughs> so we're gonna put a couple eggs in here, and I'm gonna have a little bit of fun here. I'm gonna put some flavors in the egg. I'm gonna put a little bit of hot sauce. Obviously, these are optional things. And I'm gonna put a little bit of Dijon mustard. And we're gonna whisk that in. Also, we're gonna season everything that we're dredging in with some salt because if I don't season something, that level of it is gonna be flat. And you don't wanna season your fish then not season the breading, then you end up with unflavorful fish. So we're just ensuring that everything is good and flavored. So this gets whisked together with that mustard and the hot sauce. All right, so now we're just gonna start our breading. So flour, egg, breadcrumb, and we just go in order. And you try to do it with, you have like a wet hand and a dry hand so you don't get all gooped up. I'm very curious to see if you can keep those dry and wet hands. Sometimes I get a little confused. Liv's seen it happen. So flour first, dry hand. <laughs> you shake off any excess. You drop it in, wet hand. Then we go into our breadcrumbs, dry hand. See, but like, then your dry hand turns a little bit wet because the fish is wet. Well, no, you, you get some of the breadcrumbs on there. See, these are big pieces, so it's a little bit trickier, but. So it's just, not perfect? It's, it's perfect. <laughs> I'm perfect, Liv. So now this is breaded, and I'm just gonna move it to my tray. Now, you could get a lot of this breading done ahead of time. With fish, I would say you could bread up to about an hour ahead of time. So we're gonna get this breaded, and then we're gonna move this into our fridge so it's just hanging out. So our fish is breaded, I'm gonna put this in the fridge. So piccata sauce is an Italian sauce, it's lemon, butter, white wine. So we're gonna make our butter first and have it all flavored. So then when we cook the fish, the fish comes out, I can put the sauce together in seconds, sauce it and it's done. So I have salted capers here, we rinse them off. I'm gonna put those in the pool. We are gonna put, it's about a full stick of unsalted butter, room temp one garlic clove. So there's two ways you could do the garlic. You could microplane it in like this, or you could do what I typically do is I just flip it, smash it, give it a quick little run through with the knife, and that goes in. Then we're gonna zest and juice a lemon. Because the fish is breaded, we are going to really give it a nice acidic pop, which I know Lizzie's gonna like too because as we know, she wants lemons in everything. Do you ever use other citrus with fish? Yeah, orange would work great. Um, you know, if I was going a little bit Southwestern in flavor here, I think lime would work good. So we're not only gonna get the lemon here, but we're gonna also use some white wine, um, which is gonna have some sweetness and acidity to it. So that will help too. Lastly is our flat leaf parsley. We're just gonna give this a quick little rough chop. Are we going stems or no stems with the parsley? I'm just gonna go mostly, not completely through the stems here. I'll save some of these stems, throw them in the compost. And if I had to use dried parsley, would it be the same amount? Um, with dry spices, uh, you're gonna wanna use about a third as much as fresh. All right, so look, we just mash this together. We're essentially making a compound butter here, guys. Capers, garlic, lemon zest, lemon juice, flat leaf parsley, unsalted butter, 
all mixed together. I'm gonna put this in the fridge with my fluke. It's gonna hang out for the next hour or so. This is gonna cook very quickly. A couple minutes aside, the fish is gonna be cooked through. It's gonna be golden brown. It's gonna be ready to go. Okay, Lizzie, so this has been going for about two minutes and you could see how golden it's gotten. So I'm gonna give oh, it the flip. Perfect. Look at it. I mean, it's just perfect. Perfect. Now I'm gonna deglaze the pan with a little bit of white wine. And you can see Ooh. it's very hot. You want the white wine to reduce by about half. Chicken stock goes in. We're gonna let that reduce by half. And then this butter mixture that we made earlier with the capers, the parsley, the lemon zest, this is gonna go in and we're gonna whisk this into our sauce. So here's our butter. And again, this is all about saving steps so you could see how fast this all comes together. We have our whisk. And you have capers right in there with Capers, it well? parsley, lemon zest, lemon juice, salt and pepper. It is all ready to go. Obviously, we don't need much salt because of the capers. As soon as this starts to come up to a simmer, the sauce is finished. And then we're just gonna dump it over our fish. Wow. Look at it! I'm gonna take some of this mm. parsley and radish salad that I love so much mm, and just so kinda fresh. gild the lily with it to give it some more texture. And then I just leave wow. a little bit of that extra salad on the side in case anybody wants to dive in. Absolutely. All right, you ready to eat? Ready. Now the fish should be, you know, have some texture obviously on the outside because we crisped it, um, but then nice and juicy in the center. Mm. Mm. It's really good. <laughs>